The Buck Rogers Starfighter, produced by Corgi in 1980, is a, a great toy and is one that I always uh, loved dearly as a child. And this is one that I've had for years and years. It's a really nice designed ship and actually Corgi have done a pretty good job in uh, recreating it in uh, a die cast form. It has a couple of nice features. You can fire some missiles from the top here and it has some spring loaded wings that you can clip in and then the button on the front fires them out. So it's uh, quite a nice sort of uh, geeky little toy there. Uh, the one thing I never liked uh, is the fact that they put this panel across the front. The Starfighter should have two points uh, at the front here, um, but I'm guessing because it would be quite dangerous to give a child something with such sharp points, uh, Corgi put this uh, bar across so that you ended up with a flat edge uh, and it wasn't like a sort of a, a nasty sharp weapon. So what I'm going to do today is I have another Corgi Starfighter here that I picked up fairly cheaply. Uh, this one the wing mechanism doesn't work and it's also missing uh, the front landing gear here. I'm going to take this all apart, I'm going to strip the paint off it, take all the uh, stickers off it and then I'm going to modify it to remove this uh, panel and then repair these so that these go to a nice sharp point like uh, the original sort of uh, model that you see in the TV show does. I'm going to give it a fresh coat of paint, make new decals, because uh, this decal on the back, um, again, isn't how it should appear in the TV show. It has uh, some nice markings on the side here. And I'm basically going to give this a paint job to make it look like how I think the toy should have looked uh, back in the 1980s. So I'm going to keep some key elements like the bright blue jets here and the yellow wings, but I'm going to give it a much better paint job and some much nicer decals. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is to uh, get the toy apart, which involves uh, drilling out the rivets here. So here in front of me you can see all the pieces of the Corgi Buck Rogers Starfighter. Uh, it took a fair amount of work actually to get this, this apart because there are not only the, uh, four rivets on the bottom, all of these pieces uh, inside are also held on with rivets and I've drilled out every single one of those. Unfortunately I did manage to crack the uh, windscreen glass there which is a bit annoying. I'm hoping that I can find another one of these Buck Rogers uh, Starfighters pretty cheaply and I'll, pick, and I'll uh, get that and I'll take some more parts off it because also this one has a broken uh, front front landing uh, gear thing uh, so hopefully uh, I'll find one of those uh, while I'm in the middle of this uh, restoration and sort of customization project and I'll be able to uh, swap those out uh, finally what we need to do is uh, take off the wheels the wheels are just little black uh, discs with some pegs either side and I'm hoping that these should just uh, using a screwdriver I should just be able to sort of ping these out and there you go they're very easy to remove just use a small uh, screwdriver and uh, push it under the wheel and lift up like so and there you go the wheels pop out so then we're left with just two uh, metal pieces now I'm going to strip the uh, paint off of these uh, previously if you've watched my uh, restoration of the uh, dinky space 1999 eagle you'll know that I've used caustic soda to do this and, and I'm going to do uh, that again if you want to see me uh, doing the first go uh, check out my uh, Space 1999 Dinky Eagle restoration project and you'll see me doing the caustic soda stripping of the paint. Works very well and is a very cheap way of getting rid of uh, paint from a, a, a Dinky uh, or a Corgi die cast model like this. So as you can see in front of me, I've had a little bit of a failure on the uh, paint removal process on this uh, Corgi Buck Rogers Starfighter. Normally caustic soda works exceptionally well removing the paint. I've done this previously on uh, Dinky Eagles and things like that, and the paint just falls off. But for some reason with this uh, paint on the Corgi Starfighter here, uh, it just didn't work. Some of it has come away, but a lot of it has stayed in place. It's really solidly stuck on there. So uh, I'm now going to try a different tack on this. I bought some uh, hardcore uh, nitromores here, which is proper sort of heavy duty paint stripper. Uh, and I'm going to use that along with some uh, scouring pads here, stainless steel scouring pads. 
and I'm going to give that a go and see if that uh, will have the strength needed to remove the paint from this uh, spaceship here. So as you can see with the nitro moles, it's obviously a different chemical reaction uh, and a different paint that Corgi have used on their uh, toys. Uh, the nitro moles uh, worked pretty quickly, not actually quite as quick as the, uh, the Corsic Soda did on the Dinky Eagle, but it's still a very quick process. Uh, and here is the end result. As you can see, it stripped the paint off quite nicely. I'm now left with the original die cast metal of the toy. So uh, that's a good place to start for me to do uh, some modifications to this vehicle. So uh, what I want to do is remove this fin that goes across between the two sort of front prongs. Uh, I'm just going to use a, a small uh, hand saw to saw that uh, back uh, nice and neatly too. There's a, there's a neat line there that sort of goes along the length of the prong. So I'm going to saw back as close to that as I can then use some small files just to file that back down uh, and make it a neat and smooth uh, finish so it uh, just looks pretty good. And so here we have the uh, finished modified front portion of the Starfighter. As you can see it makes quite a difference taking away that plane. Uh, it, it just makes the ship look much more sleek uh, and uh, like the uh, ship did in the show. Uh, using some very small files I've managed to file down the edges of this so it's, it's pretty smooth and by the time that's painted you won't even notice the difference um, uh, or the cut marks that I've put there. Uh, so uh, join me in part two of my uh, Buck Roger Starfighter restoration video to see uh, the rest of the process. Thanks for watching.